Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. We are going around in circles as Mario goes back in time because he jumped into a time hole. Because we have to go back in the past to save Pre Princess Peach from aliens. Welcome to the crazy plot of this game. Actually, I kind of love it. Anyway, we land on Luigi because he is, his tushy is such a, a soft cushy. I should never say that again. But alas, it shall be used again as a suitcase lands on top of it. That's right, it's a Mario and Luigi game. We need a suitcase somehow, I guess. Anyway, our suitcase can talk this time, though, because Professor Egad is crazy and he makes weird inventions. That's another thing I like about this game. It has lots of Egad. And Egad is awesome. Anyway, this guy fails to realize that he's on someone's butt. And Luigi is just like, what the hell are you doing, dude? Get off my butt. And Mario's like, dude, it's okay. Your butt's cushy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, we're done with this. Anyway, this guy's new his stuff well. He'll sort of be our guide, I guess. Or our moral conscience. I don't know. He'll be like Jiminy Cricket. No, not really. Anyway, he is a very, very complex and very private. His way of... he kind of is a little annoying. He's sort of like very serious and matter of fact, which almost seems out of place sometimes, but whatever. He's a freaking suitcase, who cares? Oh, he wants us to open him up. That doesn't sound dirty at all. Oh, that's right. Touch my little leather insides. Ooh. All right, this is just getting creepy. Anyway, obviously, usual menu screen. You can check your items. You can check your uh, equipment. You can also check your bro stats, your bro info. It's kind of cool how up on the top screen, Mario and Luigi are uh, represented by uh, little uh, keychain things, which are kind of interesting, as opposed to like, the weird uh, passports of last time. I like, I like the passports, though. And we get a little time for your adventure. 15 minutes, exactly. That's right. It's like a whole episode worth. Um, and 26 coins. Um, coins, I guess they don't matter too much in this game. It depends on if you want to buy a lot or buy a little. You don't need to buy a lot in this game, though. Most of the good stuff you can find out in the wild anyway. And oh no! What's going on? Oh no, the time hole's gone! How will we ever get back to the future? Or back to the present? And Luigi's like, no! 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 And now he's sad. He tries to dig, but unfortunately you cannot dig back to the future, and now Luigi is crying. Luigi, you cry, baby, you. Anyway, welcome to... Is this Holly Jolly Village, I think is the name? Um, something like that. But anyway, uh, we can take a look, a look at our stats. As usual, Mario is the powerhouse. A bit less defense, a bit less uh, HP, and also a bit less stats. Apparently Luigi's stash is bigger than Mario's. Kind of odd. Uh, Luigi definitely is suffering power, but not that he doesn't have that much of an advantage in HP and defense, which is kind of odd, but I guess we'll just deal with it. But in general, I'll probably be using Luigi as more of a tank and Mario as more of a, of a offensive person anyway, because that's generally how I play these games. Anyway, we're going to save just for the hell of it, because I want to get a new picture up there. Look at that pretty picture. There is... Is that like a... No, I thought that was a butterfly. That's actually just a flower. And yeah, Luigi's like, oh goodness. That's just, so, their poses. They're so weird. But anyway, we're going to learn how to act as a team, because we still need to do that, apparently, and the game's going to make us do that. So, we're going to try to go over here and try to jump, but of course... Stuffwell just assumes that we do not know how to jump because he's a douchebag. Stuffwell is a huge douchebag. The primary action for mobile creatures is to jump. Um, actually, that's a kind of a funny line. Anyway, he's going to go up to the top screen using his super jumping powers and explain how to jump, which it's pretty easy. You just press A and B in succession. I mean, it doesn't really take a brain surgeon to figure that out, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes the game holds your hand a little bit too much. But he's going to magically stay up there as we traverse this craziness. We're going to get a couple coins, because coins are always good. We're going to get uh, a couple mushrooms, because mushrooms are even better than a couple coins. And then we're going to get a one up mushroom, because, um, you know, if I have to explain items, I think mushrooms heal, is it 20 HP? I think it's just 20 HP. Or it might be 25. Um, and also you can jump between gaps. It's obvious. Um, one up mushrooms will uh, revive a bro if he gets KO'd. So. Uh, generally, you're not going to need to use that, but, you know, just in case one of your bros dies, you probably should. Um, so yeah. Oh, I guess you can press A and B at the same time. That usually tends to work just as well anyway. So, just, you know, easy peasy. And of course, okay, these are kind of new to this game. Uh, they have these colored blocks, which basically, you can only hit them with the bro that is appropriately colored, or appropriately lettered if you are colorblind. I guess this game caters to the colorblind, how nice. Uh, anyway, so Luigi can hit the green blocks, which we're not going to find much except coins in these ones, but these these blocks tend to have the better items other than question mark blocks. If you've seen an M block or an L block, you definitely should hit it. They tend to have some pretty good stuff, or at the very least, they'll get a good chunk of coins, and coins are always good. Um, we're not going to get a lot of coins now, but later in the game, they do pan out a lot of coins pretty quickly. So, should not be too big of a problem. We're already at 36, that's actually nothing, but whatever. 
So let's just continue. Whoa! That was an earthquake. What is going on? Whoa! It's a toad, and Luigi's like, holy- Luigi's, like, holy crap face is just so weird in this game. It looks like he's, like, not even standing up straight. But yeah, there are toads right now from this guy. There's, like, a fleet of UFOs. We are definitely in the right time frame. And it looks like they're gonna go right that village. Yep, that village is getting pwned. Poor village is getting destroyed. Toad's like, no! Toad is dying. The village... Dank purple mushrooms! Oh no! That's my... Scare voice. And Luigi is freaking terrified. Apparently aliens are his greatest fear. Either aliens or the clown. Okay. Actually no, Toad oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. No! Toad! He got sucked into the UFO. Those UFOs are really freaking tiny. You ever notice that? They just look really, really, really tiny in comparison to the characters. Like, you'd imagine UFOs would be a little bigger. Now, I like this area of the game. There's like mushrooms and there's like weird sparkle shiny stuff in the lights there. But of course, we first have to learn how to fight enemies. So, um, now that we have Luigi, we're going to learn how to fight with him as well. Uh, we're also going to learn, uh, brought back from the first game, our first strikes. If you land on an enemy, you will do damage immediately. Always very helpful to do. It's like getting a free hit in, pretty much. So I would recommend doing that. Uh, and then these things, these little shrewd things, I mean, they're pretty much like the Goombas of this game. They just go down, like, really, really easy. Like, they're not, they're worse than the Goombas in this game, because there are Goombas in this game. But Luigi obviously attacks with B. He does his little kick thing. I, I like his little, like, I'm ready to do something command. But I like all their poses, like, they're like, I'm ready to fight pose, like, whoa, whoa, dude, come on. Anyway, so, um, most enemies will kind of give away who they're going to attack. Uh, if this guy, this true boy thing, lifts up his right foot, he's going for Mario. If he lifts up his left foot, he's going for Luigi. It's pretty obvious. These things are really not that much of a threat. Uh, Stuffle says that Mario and Luigi's jumps are differentiable. I don't really know if that's actually the case, because it seems like they aren't really that much different, but I don't know. Uh, anyway, easy victory, but I'm going to go fight one more. Uh, because if I fight one more, I'll get a level up for Luigi, and that would be good. So, let's go catch Luigi up a little bit. I'm going to keep this fighting just because it's technically the first fight without aid. But, um, in general, I will be cutting out repeat enemies. Plus, this one's just really easy. Like it's already done. Plus, I get a lucky head attack. Occasionally, um, you'll get lucky attacks. Your stash stat helps uh, determine this. But, uh, those basically just do a lot of extra damage. So those are always good to get if you can. Now, as you can see, it's really, it's really, really hard to get any sort of bonus on these, at least the initial st like stat reels, so I only get one up to power. Um, I'm gonna try just to, you know, so I can keep track and, uh, vary the stats pretty well, uh, I'm gonna try to, like, sort of have a pattern, so... Level 1's gonna be, like, power, I'll do HP for level 2, and then defense, and so on and so forth. I'll kind of try to keep that in track for all the bros, so I don't lose track of who's on what thing, and get maximum reels, basically. Anyway, Luigi gets hit by a shroomoid in the head, he's going all whoa, and his eyes are rolling. That cannot be healthy for his eyes to be rolling that much. Yeah, Luigi is cuckoo bonkers, he's almost dead. Apparently taking a shroomoid to the head hurts like hell. Almost enough to kill him. But that's okay, because we have mushrooms, and apparently... Mushrooms, little funguses, you apply a little fungus to your wound, and it gets better. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but... You know, whatever goes in the Mario world universe. Mushrooms are heal-alls, that works too. Um, so you obviously using items pretty simple, you just go to the item menu, pick an item, and you give it to them. I tried giving it to Mario instead because I'm a douchebag and no one likes Luigi. Okay, that's a lie, I love Luigi. But, uh, yeah. And of course you press B to... to the <laughs> second verse, same verse as the first verse. I, I, I'm not even sure. I'm not sure if I like or hate that comment, but we'll just keep going with that. Uh, yeah, so you, or you can press start to close your item, so yeah. Item menu, not that hard. Luigi is ready for action! He's like, something like, yeah, I am awesome. Stare at me, I am Luigi. Watch out. Anyway, we are not gonna fight these guys. I have no interest in fighting them right now. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and make it to the village. And oh no! This village is in runes. These UFOs are just wrecking the place, and they're gonna blow up Toads. Toad, no! Toad died. No! They kidnapped Toad. I don't know what good shooting shooting the street. They're not even aiming at the houses. They're just aiming at the street, which is kind of weird. They're like, I don't like how beautiful the street is. It has pretty stars on it. It must die. But anyway, they mysteriously leave about no idea knowing us, so we're going to ransack the town in its destruction because we are just douchebags. I do like this town though, it's like Christmas town. It's like the first thing the shrooms do upon entering this world is they destroy Christmas. How freaking awesome. Like, 
If you're a villain, yeah, take out Christmas. That's like the perfect way to demoralize everyone. So yeah, the Shroobs, they killed Christmas. Uh, that's why in the future, Christmas comes on crabs in on the beach, like in Superstar Saga. Okay, that's a stupid reference, but... Yeah, why is always the Mushroom Kingdom? Why can't the aliens go attack Bean Bean Kingdom? No one cares about Bean Bean Kingdom. But yeah, we'll do a little bit of coin exploration, then we're going to continue onward. If you want to continue onward, you just go to the Mayor's House. I think it's in the upper right corner. I think I'm hanging there right now, actually. Uh, yeah, right here. We we'll don't have the sign in front of it. You head here. There's a mayor. It's his home. The mayor, I'm going to spell it a little ahead of time. He looks like Santa Claus. It's pretty funny. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely like a reference to like the North Pole. So, well done, troops. You killed Christmas. Uh, we can't get over here yet. I'm actually not even sure what's over here, to be honest. Because it doesn't even look like there's anything over here, but who knows. Uh, I will guess I'll just come back here later if I remember. If I don't remember... Oh, I'll remember. I'm not that stupid. Uh, this even stars. I mean, this is just obvious Christmas. Anyway, let's continue this game. No, no, go, go continue the game. Okay, good, good, good. Go in the house, thank you. Murph, murph. <laughs> Why do I make these weird sound effects? Anyway, Santa is appropriately stuck in a chimney. Just so funny. So we're going to freaking force him through the chimney by ramming our head up his butt. Which is pretty disgusting, but that's the only way to do it, so boom! And he travels through the entire chimney. That must be really painful to be pushed through the chimney like that. Ho ho! Haha, <laughs> I get it. Uh, yeah, see? He definitely looks like Santa Claus. Oh, wait, there are aliens. They've come to kill Santa! Oh no! <laughs> He's pretty screwed right now. Yeah, we totally saved his life by screwing him over. Oops. Probably not the best idea, but let's go save him anyway. Quick, Mario and Luigi, we must save Santa Claus! Oh no! Too late. You'll lose. And Mario and Luigi are like, oh crap, Christmas is dead. Alright, enough Christmas references, jeez. Anyway, we're gonna get our first... Well, I wouldn't even... This, this still isn't uh, technically the first boss. Actually, the bo first boss has come for a long time in this game. It's pretty weird, actually. Or at least the first boss you fight of Mario and Luigi. Um, although this is the boss music, but anyway. Unfortunately, this is one of those battles you can't win, because we only have two turns to kill all three of them. And unless you somehow overlevel like a freaking demon, and I don't even know if that's possible, because I don't even know if the enemies respawn. Um, they probably don't. Uh, there is no way you can kill I mean, you can't kill all three of them in two turns. Uh, it's just not going to happen. But they are pretty easy to dodge. I mean, it doesn't matter if you take damage or not, but... Uh, if they do the little ping thing, he's going after Mario. If they spin around the other way, it's going for Luigi. So, we tried, but unfortunately... The counter reaches zero, and oh my god, that is like the Jai Giant Spirit Bomb. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh, up, oh, up, oh, we're dead. That's right, auto lose battle, Luigi's face down in the dirt there. What are we gonna do? This is Lucky 7DX. Signing out, Mario and Luigi are dead. What's gonna happen? Find out next time. Cliffhanger!